Well, it's nearly midday. It's 28 degrees. What do they say? Only mad dogs and Englishmen. Uh, but it's we've got to get these in, otherwise they'll definitely die. So hopefully they'll be okay. One more to do, and I think it's going to get a bit hot. And this is what we get when we start digging holes around here. <laughs> So they were really, really compacted. They're really pot bound. So I've loosened all the roots and um, hopefully they'll be happy and they'll survive. Only time will tell, but we'll give them a good soak to make sure they don't dry out and hopefully they'll be fine. It must be five past midday. The bells ring five past seven in the morning, five past midday, and five past seven in the evening. And apparently it signifies go to work, come home for lunch, go home from work. <laughs> That's the call. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look how they're doing a few days later. Well, this one's holding its own and um, I've been watering it every day, morning and afternoon, trying not to get the leaves wet because uh, that's not good in direct sunlight. But anyway, that one's holding its own. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of this piece, of course, um, for any new viewers, um, I did talk about these in um, Wednesday's vlog and they're lavender and the garden centre were virtually giving them away. They were on their last legs. So we thought, well, it's so cheap, we'll take a chance. And so anyway, uh, that one's looking okay. But sadly, this one's just getting worse and worse. We've kept it out of the sun. Um, we've made sure there's no sunlight got directly onto it to help it, but I'm afraid this one's really struggling, so I don't think this one's going to survive. But it was a bit of a gamble, but it was a cheap gamble, so if that one doesn't, we'll uh, replace it. Well, this is where all the glasses are at the moment. These ones are more day-to-day -day use, so they're going in the cabinet. These ones I'm packing up into this box, but I'm going to wash them first. They're from... Christmas and special occasions and I have got a 
bag of glasses for Emu's charity shop. Um, there were some left here, but we don't need all of these. So they can go. They only need a quick rinse because they're just dusty, that's all. These ones are half a bottle of wine each. I only seem to have 11 of these now, but I always buy more because we end up breaking stuff. And they were only cheap. These ones are my favourites, but we did have a casualty. So we've only got two green ones now. I'm going to take a break. It's 20 to 8 in the evening, still 33 degrees. There you go, your ladyship. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's muggy. Yeah, it is a bit muggy. Saturday is now forecast to be 41 degrees. Ooh. And we're supposed to be going to a fish and chip supper. Fish and chips. And one place have cancelled. They've got um, a mobile fish and chip van. But um, it was showing up to 46 degrees in there the other day. Yeah, they, they put a photo on their Facebook page. There's two fish and chip vans that go around the area in, in this region. And uh, one of them we went to last week actually. Uh, they put a post on their Facebook page saying they're having to cancel this Friday. And they had a photo showing the temperature in their truck of 46 degrees. You know, they're trying to work and cook ch fish and chips in a truck. 46 degrees and that was the other day before this heat wave really kicked mm. in so they well, cancelled Friday but Saturday the other fish and chip truck is um, ha got a night uh, to local brewery and we're supposed to be going to that so whether they'll carry on right back to packing up glasses it's 10 o'clock at night here but it's still 31 degrees but it feels cooler
Baxter, Max and Lexi are doing the perimeter of the garden at night time in the walled garden. They're all along the black back wall there. <laughs> Check out, there's nothing that shouldn't be in their garden. Right. It's nice to get all these glasses put away again. Um, the decanters are going to have to go there because they're too tall to go up. And I've washed all these. I really like these. I got them in a mousse. I think it was about eight euros for two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of them. Do some cocktails now. It's all right, I'll probably change it around at some point. But yeah, but we're using it now, aren't I we? Just... So we'll just find something to put in the top shelf. Mm -hmm. I just quickly, um, those are some of the stuff that the last owner left behind, previous owner. Yeah. Which we'll show you at some point. We had a number of viewers um, comment on the maker and saying this is a Biedermeyer. Uh, I think that's pronounced correctly. Um, if I'm repeating myself, I apologies, but I, I don't think I've uh, talked about it in any great detail. Anyway, after that, we Googled, and of course, you know, all the images of Biedermeyer, and this is very, very uh, in the style, very much so. Uh, it could be a copy, of course. I did look for a fair bit of time and I couldn't find this piece anywhere. But of course, this may have been made to order or it could have been just a one-off as maybe some of the Biedermeyers were, or not all of them. Um, maybe if I get some time, I'll, I'll have a proper look and see if I can go into it in greater depth. Um, but I thought you'd be interested to know that Biedermeyer, I'll put the name on the screen. So uh, if you want to Google it yourself, please do. Just a little update on the kumquat um, bush. We've put it in the sun and it's come on leaps and bounds. I'll just show you. So, cause it lost most of its leaves and we've got one, two kumquats. There's one under here. That one looks ready to eat. Um, we haven't had any limes. Oh, there's one flower on there. And this is our lemon tree, it's amazing. We haven't eaten any yet, but there's lots of flowers on there, so I need to pick the lemons. Ah, good evening. We are going to be decoupaging. Not this evening, but we have to prepare for our decoupaging. So, napkins. So we have to take the backing off, apparently, and then we have to cut this into four. There you go, there's a world exclusive for you. So this is what we are decoupaging. Happy hens, fresh eggs, happy hens, fresh eggs, blah blah blah. Right, I'm assuming this will cut. I was thinking you might have been better leaving the backing on. Yeah, you could possibly, be could possibly be right, but you're not. There you go. This is going to be a bit fiddly. It's Thursday evening. 
No, it's not. It's Friday. 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 Oh my God. Sunday. We've got to get the vlog out. Everyone's expecting decoupage, darling. And it's 36 degrees. It's 36 degrees. What time is it? 8 o'clock? Uh, 10 to 8. 10 to 8 in the evening. 36 degrees. And we were hoping to go to a fish and chip evening tomorrow, but in a way we're quite glad that it's been cancelled. And the um, Prefectia, who is the big boss, the big cheese, as they say, in this de in this region, in this department, he has placed, a, well, he or she, I don't know whether it's he or she. Uh, anyway, they've placed a ban on outdoor events for the next three days. Not today, though. No? no. Well, it's for three days. Natalie said her event's not cancelled. Oh, okay. Maybe it starts tomorrow then. So what's anyway, the there's a ban on outdoor events because tomorrow is going to get up to some ridiculous temperature, 41 I seem to recall. No, it's 40 now. 40, oh well. 40. Well, it's going down to 35 degrees in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, that'll make a difference. Mm. Anyway, next time you see these, presumably, they'll be on or being put on a certain spice cabinet. There you go. Decoupage, material, beer, and a beautiful wife. What more could a man want? Welcome back to Spice Rack. So what I've done, I've painted the inside with um, a matte finish and purely and simply, A, to help hide the rough wood but B, to give a base for the decoupage. Because we've decided to put napkins down, they're a bit thin, and therefore I felt the wood colour would bleed through. And Susie and I were having a chat about it not long after we um, decided on um, uh, the napkins as a decoupage idea. And, of course, we had a couple of suggestions also from people saying, well, the wood will probably bleed through the napkins uh, and show up. So... So I've quickly slapped a couple of coats on. I literally have just slapped it on. There was no need for finesse. <laughs> Paint's rough as hell. Uh, the wood's rough as hell, so it didn't matter about the paint. Anyway, that's done. I've masked up the wood and the hinges uh, along there. And so basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the outside. And then hopefully once that's dry, um, the inside will be dry and I can start decoupaging. So once again, I'll spare you the time lapse of paint drying. I'll just get on with it. And it's currently 36 degrees. And in a couple of hours time, it's going to be 40 degrees. But I'm in the shade. It doesn't feel too bad. But I think in an hour or so, I'm probably going to have to move the whole thing inside. So I'm going to quickly get this painted. There you go. Let's, I'll bring it around the other side because you probably can't see it so clearly in the, in the shade there, but it's coming along nicely. So I'm going to leave it uh, an hour to really go off and then I think I'm going to have to um, go inside with it because it's getting silly hot. It's just hit 40 degrees and I'm in the shade but it's getting silly so I'm going to go inside and in an hour or so I'll come and get it and bring it inside okay we have our pattern our napkins and it's a bit windy but don't worry so they will overlap obviously the correct way some will be straight some will be diagonal that way some will be diagonal the other way now, 
I've counted them and so we've got three panels two sides and the back I've got roughly 22 per panel and each um, with and we have uh, seven compartments so shelf here shelf here shelf here shelf here so that's five and then two up that end so basically per compartment we've got about nine of these with maybe a couple spare and I think I'll choose the worst areas to put spares uh, and bearing in mind once the um, kiln jars are in um, you're going to see very little of this uh, the paint has made such a difference um, still a bit rough in places but it's 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 fine so that's what I'm going to do I've never done this before um, I think I'm going to start at the other end and work the way down don't know why I just fancy doing that the two compartments up that end are slightly taller than these so I'll probably keep the spares for up there but then there's a couple of rough areas here which I'm going to need so what we're going to end up with we're going to end up with gaps this is not going to cover the whole thing but it's fine what I'll try and do is leave the gaps on reasonable wood so I'll get on with it okay got my PVA I've watered it down don't know whether that's correct or seems to be and first thing I want to do is just hide a little bit of this up the top uh, and I've got a little roller there which I don't want to get wet if I can help it make sure it's the right way around and once it's on there's nothing I can do Well, it's going okay. Um, I've decided I'm not going to overlap them a great deal. I think it starts to look a bit messy, actually. Um, I think it's better, as I'd originally thought, just a little overlap in the corners maybe, but generally speaking, just to let these speak for themselves and do what they're intending to do, and that is hide all the rough woodwork. But what I don't want them to do is hide the patterns of the other ones. Um, so I'm not worried about up here because there'll be big jars up here you won't see. But this is how I'm going to do it from now on. Just separate them a little bit. And I think that's going to be the better option. I think that'll be nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, it's not in its intended home, but for the purposes of this vlog, it's basically done. All I've got to do is put it in. I've got a couple of little things to finish. Um, if you remember this piece up here, I added just up there. I've got to just find a stain for that. I'm going to wax all the wood, uh, the shelves. I'm going to wax those and just darken the front more to match uh, the doors. As you can see, if I open up, we have our decoupage. Which is there to just take your eye off the roughness of the wood. It's still drying, so that will become a bit more transparent. There's a gap there in that one, but that's fine. I wasn't trying to hide every last little fault with the thing, just to take your eye off it. And up here... 
it's quarter to ten so it's getting a little bit dark uh, we'll be losing the light soon which is why I'm filming now just gotta adjust those sort of things up there that shelf that's fine so there you go and Susie's here she hasn't seen the final it looks really nice. so do you want to come and have a look She's just giving those plants a last water of the evening. She'll come over in a sec. So there you go. Now, whether Susie gets the time to do her artwork on the outside, we don't know. But if she doesn't, we've got chickens on the inside. Yeah, it looks really nice. You happy with that? Yeah. A couple of finishing touches, like I say. Yeah, good. Well done. You happy? Yeah. Right, can I have a beer now? Yeah, it's on the table. Oh, is it? Perfect. Lovely. Did you hear that? It's on the table. Perfect. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying that. And uh, those napkins, they're going to, they've actually, as it's drying, they're becoming more and more transparent. So you don't actually see the napkin, you just see the design. So I'm really happy with that. And it's quarter to ten and it's still 34 degrees. So I am going to have a beer. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's done. I really am. Oh, it's just been so hot today. Yeah. It, just... it got up to 39. They they did say 41. I don't think it touched it, did it? It just got, yeah, 39. It's still yeah. 34 degrees now and it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, and then it's going to drop down to 29 in the next hour. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> just, um, I've just been doing stuff indoors, but it's we couldn't open the windows. We had to have the shutters closed, so it's dark and there's no air, is there? No, no. But the house is the house is cool, <clears throat> so the dogs have been cool. Yeah. And, uh, but, but if you open the window, you just get hot air coming in. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to keep it all shut. So, but uh, anyway, we got there, and tomorrow the temperature's going to drop right down. Ten degrees. About ten degrees. So. And it seems to be like that for the week, so we think mm. we're over the heat wave now. But Thank that's goodness. that's been a hot it's week. It's really tiring. Yeah, I mean we've come out and done a couple of bits here and there early, but it's um, by ten o'clock. It's difficult, but mm. today I've been out here a fair bit because uh, if I didn't, then um, we wouldn't have had much of a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're happy with the spice cupboard? Yeah, I don't know how you did it out there in the heat. Uh, just... Lots of water <laughs> and a reward at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's coming on really nice. That I haven't got a lot to do for so for all intents and purposes, it's it's finished. But uh, maybe next week I'll just show you the finished bits and just, in situ. Um, and of course, we've got to put waxing, spices. Waxing to do. Yeah, waxing and a couple of bits, and then put the spices in mm. there. Otherwise, uh, that'd be good. Otherwise, it's just an empty <laughs> cupboard. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find something to put in it. We've got lots of spices and stuff, so we'll get those in maybe this week. Well, yeah, let's get them in this week. So, anyway, I'm going to sign off. Yeah, me too. Hope you enjoyed that, and we shall see you... Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Chantez.